which is deep. And so we can just sort of open this up to people who are here tonight and make it a bit more conversational. So, um, is Steve here? Yes, he's here. Yeah. Can you see if we stand? Can or should we stand? You're here. You're this guy. Oh, that person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can you see us if we sit or should we stand? Have a seat. Yeah. Okay. Rest. Be All right, cool. Okay. Cool. That was fun. Okay, I'm going to get straight to it. <laughs> Questions? Anybody? I have a question for Wendy. Um, have you made other films, or how did you get into film? Um, I have one question first. Can we turn the projector off? Yeah. That's right. right it's there. really, yeah. it's like being tased. Yeah, you letters on your face. Oh, Corey, thank you. <laughs> Corey Chisel, everybody. Now we have a proper Q&A. Thank you, Corey. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. What was the question? So, have you made other films, or how did you get into film? I have made other films. I did a film in 2006 on teens and self-injury, which was a documentary, and was blessed to have Shirley Manson come on board and participate in that film. Uh, it's been used in education for teens um, who are struggling with self-injury for a number of years. And I've done a few other projects, a lot of P PSAs, and um, now I was making records for many years. So this is the biggest challenge that I've had in media. Well, I, I thought it was wonderful. It was Thanks. fascinating. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Uh, all the archival footage, uh, video, and the, the pictures, it, 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 through the entire timeline and the span of the film, how did you compile all of that together? I mean, that was amazing. That's one of the most amazing parts of that film. I think. I wonder That's for, for Wendy. You know what? We never really liked cameras in the studio yeah. back in the day. And the bands did not like cameras or video cameras in the studio. So there's not a lot of footage that we had between the two of us. Wendy, yeah. well, you tell a story. You went on, fa literally on Facebook and started asking Everywhere. all the bands like how they could yeah. find it. I would put up flyers around Madison saying that I was seeking archives. I think if Butch and Steve were to go through their emails and count how many times I was like, hey man, can you send me some pictures? We you know, nothing. Right, and, and I wouldn't believe you, actually. I'd be like, oh, they just don't want to look in their garage. And But really, it was, um, you know, certain pictures I can count, like that picture was three emails, four phone calls, you know, knocked on a couple of doors. It was that painstaking at times. But it was six years, and I think that it really, when the research was able to support the content, the film really took shape. Yeah, made a big difference. The funny thing is, now that the film has been here and it's South by Southwest and played in Chicago last night, we're getting more and more content. <laughs> All these bands, shoot, not kidding, over a thousand <laughs> bands recorded at Smart. Now they're starting to send more content. Right. Someone said to Wendy last night, Will there be a sequel? She went, Fuck. No. <laughs> it's not going to be a sequel. <laughs> yes. Steve, what's next? What's what's next for your recording aspirations? You know, we're, we're working on the band that we're in now together. We're still, after all these years, you know, we got a new record coming out with Garbage, and we're still doing that. Just on yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're still recording geeks, basically. <laughs> still making up shit and recording yeah. it. <laughs> Yeah, we're um, uh, our new album "Strange Little Birds" comes out in in uh, June, and um, it's funny being here talking to Mark and being at Corey's uh, uh, n place, the Refuge. It's um, really good to be back here in Wisconsin. Um, both, I think, Smart would still be open if Steve and I lived here, because we it was all about making. We wanted a place to make music, and Steve moved to Colorado. I moved to Los Angeles, but. Be back here feels really good, and um, I don't even know where I'm going with this, but uh, it's uh, it's it's it feels really important, I think, to us that um, the film is here tonight, yeah. and um, yeah. I mean that's what we I guess when you're talking about what we're concentrating on, this is what we're doing right now is we're helping Wendy get the film up. Yeah. Later this year we'll be full on garbage mode, <laughs> and uh, that'll be a whole other thing. But right now it's about the Smart Studios documentary. The distinguished-looking gentleman in the 